Hello guys, hope you will be fine and taking good care of your health. Welcome to this video. As you know that in previous lecture we are discussing the graphical analysis of motion. Today we are discussing its another topic that is when object is at rest, uh, how we write on the uh, distance time graph. A horizontal line parallel to time axis on a distance time graph shows that speed of the object is zero. So let's draw this graph. What is a parallel line? If the distance between two lines is uh, if the distance between two lines is same between each particle of these lines that is called distance uh, that, that is called parallel lines. You can see I draw here two parallel lines because you know that uh, every line is made up of a small particles. When we join small particles, then we get a line. So these two lines are made up of all, um, small particles. If the distance between each particles remain same, for example, this is five, then this is also five, this is also five, then we say these two lines are parallel lines. If we draw a line parallel to x-axis, you can see uh, here I draw a Cartesian plane containing y-axis and x-axis. Horizontal line is called x-axis and vertical line is called y-axis. Now we um, uh, draw a line parallel to x-axis like this. I draw here. Then it means object is at rest. You know that on vertical axis means y axis we take distance and on x axis we take time. This line shows that time is increasing but distance is not increasing. For example, at a point a body is at 5 meter and at a point the body is at 10 meter and here this is a point when a body is on 15 meter. Here the time is 5 minutes and here the time is 10 minutes and here the time is 15 minutes. You can see time is increasing. This point shows that the distance is 10 and point uh, time is 5 minutes. And this point shows that the distance is 10 meter and uh, uh, the time is 10 minutes. Uh, it means time is increasing but distance is not increasing. When distance is not increasing, uh, then it means uh, the, the rate of change of distance will be zero. So uh, you know that what is the formula of velocity or speed. Uh, the formula of speed is uh, the rate of change of the, this, uh, the, the formula of speed is the rate of change of this uh, tense del s with respect to time is called speed. You know that you can see here the distance is not changing. So means uh, zero and time is changing continuously so here we write t zero divided by t we get here zero it means the we get speed zero it means the object is at rest now we are discussing object moving with constant speed uh, the speed of an object is said to be constant if it covers equal distance in equal intervals of time the distance time graph is a straight line its slope gives the speed of the object so now we discuss this. Again, I draw a Cartesian plane here. This is a Cartesian plane, and here now we get uh, uh, when uh, here I take uh, time, uh, time 5, 10, 15. On x axis, I draw time, and on y axis, I draw distance 5, 10. 15. If five, um, uh, five um, uh, in five minutes, our uh, body covers five meter distance. Here we plot a graph. Uh, here we plot a dot. And uh, if our body covers ten meters in ten seconds, here we draw a dot. Now here, uh, when our body is uh, uh, covering fifteen, uh, uh, if our body covering fifteen meter in fifteen distance, then here we draw a dot. When join, when we join these dots. Then we uh, got a uh, slope. It means uh, object moving with constant speed. When a body is uh, moving with constant speed, we uh, got a slope because uh, you can see the distance between time interval is of 5 and the distance between the distance interval is also 5. A body is uh, moving with constant. Uh, 
coming constant distance with respect to constant time that's why we say it is moving with constant speed okay now next object moving with variable speed when an object does not cover equal distance in equal intervals of time then its speed is not constant in this case distance time graph is not a straight line like this again i draw another cartesian plane I draw a Cartesian plane here. Now, here I draw time 5, 10, 15, 20, okay, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 10, and 20, okay. If our body start to move 5 meter, okay, then it cover 10 meter in और अगर ये क्या करता है 10 मीटर जो डिस्टेंस है वो कवर करने के लिए ज्यादा टाइम लेता है तो आपके पास जो डॉटेड लाइन आएगी वो इस तरह से आएगी अगर 10 मिनट्स में वो 10 मिनट ही कवर करते तो यहां पर आपके पास आ जाएगा 15 मिनट्स में वो अगर 12 करता है वो 11 करता है तो आपके पास यहां पर डॉट आ जाएगा और अगर आपके पास वो 20 मिनट में वो आपके पास 18 मीटर डिस्टेंस कवर करता है तो आपके पास यहां पर एक डॉट आ जाएगा ये डॉट्स को जब आप ज्वाइन करोगे तो आपके पास जो ग्राफ बनेगा वो इस तरह से ग्राफ बनेगा दैट इज नॉट अ स्ट्रेट लाइन दैट इज नॉट अ स्लोप दैट्स व्हाई वी से व्हेन एन ऑब्जेक्ट डज नॉट कवर इक्वल डिस्टेंस इन इक्वल इंटरवल्स ऑफ टाइम देन इट्स स्पीड इज नॉट कांस्टेंट इन दिस केस डिस्टेंस टाइम ग्राफ इज नॉट अ स्ट्रेट लाइन सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड इट प्रॉपर्ली इफ यू हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम यू कैन आस्क मी लव यू